welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new set, Bugs and Kisses, and its coordinating dies. I love this adorable set for Valentine's Day and for all year round. So let's go ahead and stamp it out. First up, we have this adorable jar that is perfect for putting in all these little bugs inside of it, as you can see there. And we have a bunch of different designs. We have this great little ladybug. I love this little guy so much. Fantastic little bee. And even a little lightning bug there. I love these little guys. I love how you can make them facing each other. They would be really cute in a little scene with some grass. And here we have a wonderful twig. And I love this twig for putting that cute little worm on. I just love him so much too. And here you can see how that twig can fit right inside of the jar also. We have a leaf for the twig and some hearts to help decorate and set the scene. I love this little trail here and I like to put it on my surface and pick it up just to make sure it stays in its exact correct position and then stamp it out with a really light touch to get all of those adorable little dainty dots. And you can see that it's the perfect trail for any of these bugs. We have some fun sentiments, bugs and kisses, be my love bug and we belong together. And of course, last but not least, we have our exclamation point to add to the end of any of these phrases. Now I'm gonna add some color using Copic markers to these images. And here I'm using some very light blues for the jar. And what I'm gonna do after I put all the blues down is take my colorless blender and go over all of that blue and really blend it out into the jar and kind of lighten up and blur out the edges too. I just love that look. Now it's time to add some color to the lid, so I'm just adding some shading to the outsides just to give it some nice dimension in the middle there. And now I can go ahead and add some color to these bugs. And I love that you can really get creative with how you add the color to these. I mean, really they can be any color, it just makes it even more fun to create and even a rainbow of bugs. I'm gonna color the little lightning bug just like I did the ladybug so that I can put them in the jar together and they'll coordinate. I love adding shading even to little images like the, the hearts here. I just think it adds just something a little extra and fun to them. And here I colored the other bug in the same exact way. Now on the bottom there, you can see that some of that red marker bled out a little bit. It happens sometimes with reds and purples. And so I'm just taking my white gel pen and going over that line. And as soon as that gel pen dries, you won't even be able to tell that that happened. I love doing this because I always kind of color outside the lines by mistake. Often with small images like these, I just use two different shades of markers to create my images and that's plenty because they are so little so it really does, just the two really does give it a lot of dimension. I've had some requests from you guys to slow down the coloring a little bit in these intro videos. So I've done that this time. So let me know if you guys like it or if you'd like to go back to a little bit faster through the coloring. I'd love to hear. For the worm here, I used YG 61, 63, and 67. And here you can see all of the images colored and brought to life. 
These are the coordinating dies for the set and at those little tabs you just bend them back and forth until they break apart into all of their pieces and you'll see here that they will line up exactly with the stamped line of your image and I like to use some low tack tape like post-it note tape to hold them in place, run them through my die cut machine and then pop them right out and you can see how perfect they look here. I just think it's so adorable when they're all cut out and then once they're cut out you can start making your scene. So for example you could take the little twig here and add the worm and you can just play around adding all of these little different images in the jar or into your own little scenes on your cards. I also wanted to show you that little heart trail die cut right above there. It looks so cool because the die cuts out the center of the heart and the center of that little loop-de-loo at the end and it looks so neat following the little bugs. So now it's time to get creating. So I'm using one of the stitched rectangle dies here and I've cut a little piece of light pink cardstock and here I'm using some of the Wild Rose color of Let's Polka with one of the new stitched circles, which I love so much. Now I want this circle to just be on part of the card. So I'm placing it where I'd like it to be and then just using the back of this um, cardstock there to trace so that I know where to trim my little piece off. So I'll go ahead and just trim those and then you'll see it's going to be a perfect circle there in the bottom corner of the card. Now I've gone ahead and added my cute little bugs with some foam adhesive in my jar but I thought they kind of looked like they were floating on that circle. So I decided to take some of the hippo color uh, from the Let's Polka collection and just cut a little flagged end on this piece here and uh, and when I put that there on the card, you'll see that now the jar looks a little bit less like it's just floating in space down there. <laughs> So I can go ahead and adhere down both my circle and uh, this little flagged piece. And then I'm going to be ready to stamp my Bugs and Kisses sentiment right at the top. And I also wanted to kind of ground the sentiment, so I decided to stamp these hearts on either side of it. And I thought it looked kind of cool, kind of like the hearts are behind the sentiment. I thought it was kind of a fun look. And then I can add some foam adhesive to my jar. And then use some more of that hippo color there to put on my card base. And you'll see when I put the piece down, sometimes, you know, I just don't cut things perfectly. So I'm just going to trim off that end with my scissors and no one will ever know that I did not trim that card base to the right size. And then now I can layer my whole panel on top, add some glitter uh, to my little bugs there, and then also to the hearts around the bugs and kisses. And this card is done. I love this card because it's really easy to replicate, so you can make a ton of Valentines with this. Now, I thought it would be really fun to make a goodie bag. I've been making so many Christmas-themed goodie bags that I thought it would be really fun to start making some Valentine's ones. So I went ahead and assembled the bag, and I'll link above if you haven't assembled the bag before. We have a video on that. And now I'm going to take my Be My Love Bug sentiment and curve it on my block. That's one of the things I love about clear stamps is the ability to curve them. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. And right now you're going to see that I'm stamping on a little extra piece of goodie bag and I'll explain why later. But here we have another one of the stitch circles. I wanted to create a ground for my jar to sit on and I'm actually using some Christmas paper for Valentine's because this red color is perfect for both holidays. I love having collections that kind of get a little bit of an extension there towards Valentine's. And by trimming off part of that circle now I have another place to ground my jar. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to the goodie bag. And then I can add my cute little bee here. I'm going to add with some glue dots to my jar. And then I'll add the heart with some foam adhesive. I really wanted that heart to stick out. And then I can add the jar with foam adhesive right onto my panel. Now here you're going to see why I had to do a different panel. So I built the bag first, forgot to stamp on it, tried to stamp on it, built, did not work. So I just decided to cut a panel out, layer it right on top, and nobody will ever know that I had to do that. Here I have some of our coral and peppermint lawn trimmings and I just cut a really long piece, tied it around a ton of times and then put a bow right on top and it really finishes off the goodie bag. It would be perfect to put a bunch of little candies in there. I just love this look and it's another one that you can make a ton of too so it's perfect for kids' classrooms and things like that. And here's a look at both projects. 
And so this is Bugs and Kisses and it's awesome coordinating dies. I love this set for making cards, goodie bags, tags. It's perfect for Valentine's Day, but also wonderful for year round too. And I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this set. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye. Thank you.